Hey guys, and today I wanted to talk about how you should start aerokinesis. Now this is a very soon follow up to my video on meditation which I just recorded and um, yeah it got me thinking of all the things you know that you need to do after meditation that um, you know it just you just need to know so um, I wrote it down in my notes on my phone and so it's kind of a long list but um yeah if the first step is obviously the meditation so if you uh if you haven't watched my video on meditation go and watch that but um yeah this is just going to be a follow up to that so um the first step i have here is um connecting with your environment which is the meditation you know meditate and then the uh second one is you have to learn how to set an intention now here's an example of an intention so let's say you're going to bed and uh, you plan to brush your teeth in the morning you know that's setting an intention because um, you're, you're planning on doing that in the future and so you're intending to brush your teeth and so that is setting an intention so you've already done that you know you've already done it many times before so it shouldn't be too hard to find that out but um yeah you'll be using this as kind of a guide so you'll set an intention to move the wind a certain direction and when you set that intention then it will very much help you um to move it the direction you want because you want to do it you know you, you actually want to instead of just going okay I just want it to move you know set an intention on where you want it to move okay um my uh, third step is to believe and just like in the matrix you know and he's like you have to believe you know um, it is it is very much that and that movie actually has a pretty dead on but believing you can do it is a very very important step and was the for me was the hardest step to get past um, because you know you have all your life you know you're walking around you see all this stuff what they teach you in school the job you work until you die see all that stuff and you just you know go with the flow and then you hear about aerokinesis maybe from a YouTube video or from a friend or something and you wonder how the <laughs> how the heck is that even possible you know you you question it and even when the video if the video has complete proof that it's true like that it's possible uh, you still question it so you know it's just human nature to question and so that's why that is the hardest step to get past and um, yeah don't get um, don't get deterred from even trying it you know don't don't have people say oh it's not possible even if you tell them about it and they're like oh, it's not possible don't even try it it's possible okay <laughs> um, so just never give up just don't give up and believe that you can do it and this is a very important very important step uh, here's the fourth step and that is practicing now the hardest part about practicing is energy now in the meditation video I stated how you can start to feel the energy when you meditate in your hands and you can feel it but you can't see it or hear it that's the hard part you know especially with aerokinesis because it's in the air and the air is completely invisible so you know it, <laughs> it makes it very difficult to try and visualize because you have to go all mental by the uh, the first couple months of training you have to visualize all of it before you can actually start to really feel it and actually kind of see it you can actually kind of see it but um, at the beginning just you know you can hear it through the sound of the leaves and you can see it through the leaves on the trees moving you know you can see all that and so you're just going you know, to use your senses that you always use which is usually hearing and sight which are the two main ones um, especially in today's society with TV and all that stuff so you'd use those two the most and so when you use those two to see energy you know you kinda have to get out of that mindset of just using your eyes and ears 
to be able to perform this. And so, um, yeah, also the imagining, yep. And uh, also you can feel the wind as it's like moving. You can feel it through your hands, maybe go like this and ha hold your hand out. And you can actually feel the wind going through and feel it as energy. And you can actually, it's a little warm maybe. It gives you a tingly feeling in your hand. That's the energy of it. And that's step number six, which is the last one. Don't make the environment do what you want it to do. I know it has a lot of, you know, with especially my third to last video I uploaded, directional control. You're, I was telling it what to do, you know, I was, I was moving it in the direction that I wanted, but it wasn't really just that. It was, I was working with the environment. You have to work in unison. You have to connect your mind and your body to the universe around you. And so when you do that, it, it's almost a connection. You know, you work together to get the job done, which you set the intention that you want the pinwheel, for example, to turn right. You set that intention, and then you work with the universe. You don't just try, you know, straining yourself trying to do it. It, it doesn't work that way because you yourself do not have the power to move the pinwheel. You, the universe, has the power. So, you know, you have to work together. It's a, it's a, it's a group effort. You can, you know, kind of ask you, oh, can you move it? Oh, okay. You know, and so, um, also positive energy. You have, you have to be in a positive mode. If you got in a fight with somebody or you've, you know, or you've gotten into arguments, you know, you're just not having a good day, don't even bother practicing. I mean, all you're going to do is, you know, you're going to be in a bad mood, then you go out and going to try. Nothing's going to happen because you're in a bad mood. And so be when nothing happens, you're just going to get even more frustrated and it will most likely lead you to give up, which actually, that's what happened to me. And I gave up for a couple months. And then once I got back into the swing of it, I was like, ooh, this is nice, you know, because I was all positive, you know, because right before that, I had been doing a lot of meditation with like opening the third eye and stuff and you have to be positive for that. And so when I was getting that positive, it was making it a lot easier to practice aerokinesis. And so then I got back into that because I was, I was being positive. And so that's all I really have on this list. The other one's just, you know, to get inspiration, you know, to get motivated. You can watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I have a bunch on my on my channel, and uh, so I also have other channels like Michael Grubb's a big one and uh, Daniel Atlas, and a bunch of other ones. I'll link them at the end of the video. But um, that's also linked in my directional control video. I have a, a few on there. But um, yeah, they really motivated me, so I thank them a lot for what I what I can do today and uh, I just I'm just gonna keep getting better you know it's all you can do is keep getting better and, and show other people and help them out because being in positive energy which practicing this you're a happier person every day you know you're a happier person in day-to-day -day life and so um, again I hope this video helped you um, with your journey if there's anything that in this video that could actually help you you know if I'm happy you know <laughs> If anything helped, but um, if nothing did, that's fine. You know, you go on your own journey. Figure out stuff on your own. That this is list I just figured out on my own while just you know sitting in my backyard. You know, so not all of it may be right. I mean, I wrote this in not not too long. You know, just jotted down a few ideas. But um, yeah, if it helps you at all, you know, go ahead and try it. That's what I'm saying. Um, alright, well, thank you for watching, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.